Hey everyone, it's James here. So what I want to do today is give you a brief overview of how to create an Android emulator that I use for x86, the Intel Hacksum emulators, the settings I use, why I use them, and here we go. So I'm going to launch Visual Studio. I always like to launch into admin mode. Uh, this just kind of ensures that um, any of the properties and where SDKs and shenanigans are installed are there. So here's Visual Studio. It looks like Visual Studio. It's beautiful. Uh, so you can go from Tools, Android, and the first thing we want to do is check the Android SDK Manager. And I'm recording this December 5th, some point in 2016. Uh, so when I launch the Android SDK Manager, I'm going to get something like this, this beautiful, beautiful screen. Terrible. All right, so what am I installing here? All right, so the first thing I do is whenever I open the Android SDK Manager, the first thing that you want to do is hit this little deselect all button because that just deselects everything. All right, now what we have specifically, woo, where'd my thing go? And there it is. Uh, what we have here, if we go up top, and we have the Android SDK tools. You want to make sure that that's at least at 25 point something dot something right now. Uh, so keep upgrading that. That's the first thing. Deselect all, keep upgrading all those. If you don't have the latest SDK tools installed, that means that you're not going to have the latest Android SDK stuff. You want to install and make sure you have the platform tools installed, 25 dot whatever. Do not install the 25 build tools yet. 24 is what you want. As soon as Xamarin supports API 25, then you would install the build tools. That's very important. But really want to make sure you have the SDK tools installed. Now, I'm not creating an API 25, although you could. Uh, I'm going to create what we support, which is 24. So I always like to install uh, uh, the SDK platform. Notice that here I'm going to install the uh, this one, the Intel x86 Atom system image, not the 64-bit, just because I don't like to. No need, to. no need to do it. And then I also install down here the Google APIs Intel x86 Atom system image along with the Google APIs. So one, two, and three. When you, you want to install both of those at the same time. So you've installed all those. That's awesome. You've crushed it. You're doing great. So now what we want to do is go up to Tools, Android, Android SDK Manager. Now we're going to open up the SDK Manager. Uh, this is going to open up. Mm, there. Oh, not that one. Sorry. Tools, Android, Emulator Manager. The AVD Manager, if you will. Android Virtual Device. So it's going to open up. And of course, it opens up on my other monitor. But here we go. All right. So let me zoom in again. Meow. And as you can see, I have two actually installed already, the Android x86 and this. When you install Xamarin, you're going to get a bunch of them pre-configured already. I always, always, always create my own just because I'm I'm weird like that. Um, so I'm going to hit Create, -da -da -da, and you're going to get this beautiful, beautiful dialog. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So name it something. You can't have any spaces in it. You can have underscores. So I'm going to say Android, and I'll say YouTube because it's going to go on YouTube, and x86. And we'll say API 23 because they're 24. 24? Yeah, 24. Let's create that. Actually, I haven't created it yet. So we'll say Android underscore x86 uh, underscore API 24. So for my device, I always actually select, I'm very strange, I select the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, I do this just because it's a 720p display. I don't need anything fancy. I used to go with the Nexus S, but it was a little bit low res. So I just do the Galaxy Nexus. And that's going to default to the API 25, which is not what we want. We want API 24. Uh, so that's what we have installed. And then here I'm going to say, I would like the uh, Google Intel x86 one. Boom. Uh, hardware har uh, keyboard, hardware present is good. Now I do no skin. Some people like to put skins and stuff on it. I just say no skin because I don't want anything um, on there. I just don't want it. Um, and then for front camera, I always do emulated for front and back camera. I never use the webcam because it never works. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Uh, here I have memory options and I say 512, keep uh, 64, uh, 512 for internal storage and on SD card size. Now this one's really important, the internal storage and the RAM options. I always set to 512 and 512 and 512 because one, it's easy to remember, it's half a gig. My emulators don't need anything that crazy fancy because I'm going to use this host GPU. The internal storage is really important though, because when you're installing, you know, mono stuff and you're installing all this stuff, you can breach the max input size. So make that 512. Um, uh, that's always done good. I've never really run out of size with that. And with that, you're going to hit OK. Now, this is all, of course, assuming that uh, you're going to see this pop up and it'll say OK. And there it is. 
this is all assuming that you actually have um, the Intel x86 Haxum stuff installed. Now, if you don't, uh, you're gonna wanna go and install it um, and you wanna turn off Hyper-V. So when you, in, when you Google Intel Android Haxum, uh, you'll get to this here, the Android stuff here. The latest version is 6.05. This was released November 16th. If you're on uh, Windows 10 Anniversary Edition, you at least need 6.04. So download it, install it, run it. Now, one important option here when you install this thing is that it will ask you what you want the default RAM allocation to be. Set it to 512 megabytes. It defaults to two gigs. No one needs two gigs of memory exposed via an emulator. That's crazy. Now, here you go. Now, if you have Hyper-V installed, well, you can probably just use the um, Visual Studio emulators for Android. If you don't have Hyper-V and you need to use this Haxum stuff or you are just like me and prefer the x86 stuff because you get to use the latest and greatest, um, there's a blog post that I wrote, Mops Codes x86. That's probably it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's fix that x86 Ugh, x86 Android emulator. In this blog post, I essentially tell you that you need to disable Hyper-V, okay? So you, if you run the command prompt as an uh, admin, you'll say bcd edit slash set hypervisor launch type off. This way you don't have to actually uninstall Hyper-V at all. Uh, you can just turn it off by default, reboot your computer, and then boom, you're good to go. I actually have a bunch of settings here, which are my old default settings, but now I have new ones. Now I've already done that, I've installed it. I can just come in here and say start. And I'll say launch. It's going to launch my ABD. If anything goes wrong, this little output will tell it here for you. And you should see this little Android emulator thing pop up, and it's already starting really fast. And let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller here because we're on a 1080p display. Let me just fix it here. Ooh, that's a very odd size if that's my emulator. Let it boot up. Bup, 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 bup. Uh, so you're going to kind of read that output here. It says there's some stuff because it's off the screen, not a big deal. It's working with Haxum. So it's working and everything's good. And, oh, I have it zoomed in. There we go. So now you can resize it, right? So here's this x86 one. I can resize it. It looks good. It's going to go really fast. So zoom, zoom, zoom. It's pretty much awesome. These are my default settings. This is what you should use. And now at this point, you can also launch it from Visual Studio when you open a Android project. You can come in, actually usually pin the AVD manager on the bottom. You can get to there by just um, hitting Windows AVD um, and, and pin it like I have here and then launching that as admin if you wanna bring this up or you can launch it from Visual Studio, any way you want. Uh, but this is always really nice because this will give you the output right in this little block. Sometimes there's errors like this. This is just because it was off the screen on this dual screen setup. But as long as the Haxum is there, the RAM size is okay, it'll just say it's running in fast mode. If you don't see that, that means that for some reason uh, something's going awry. And that's it. There you have it. Uh, you're going to have a whole bunch of awesome Intel x86 goodness. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out Mott's Codes. Um, and check me out on Twitter at James Pontemagno. Peace.